Call an ambulance. One epi shot will temporarily hold off the allergic reaction, but it can come back. So get your ass to the ER, and we'll make sure you don't die. Tips from the ER. Fingers. If you accidentally slice off a piece of your finger because you weren't paying attention to where the avocado was, make sure to bring that piece of finger with you to the emergency room. Hopefully it's big enough so we can sew it back together. Because if it's too small, there won't be enough meat and space to sew. If you're gonna slice off a piece of your finger, make sure it's a nice big chunk. Giving us just a tip really isn't worth our time, motherfuckers. If we can't get it back on, we're gonna have to sew that finger shut. Whatever bone is sticking out of your hand will likely be useless and in the way. So we're gonna take some pliers and break it off. Then we're gonna take the two skin ends of your fingers, push them together, and sew it back better than a Chinese kid in a Nike factory. As for the piece that came off, you can either take it with you, throw it away, or give it to me, and I'll add it to my home collection. <sighs> Tips from the ER. Fainting. If you start to feel dizzy or faint, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is sit the fuck down. Don't be a hero and try to walk it off, motherfuckers. You're not gonna get very far. Sit your ass down, bring your knees up to your chest, and your head down between your knees. This will help circulate blood into your brain, which is likely the reason you're fainting. Don't wait until you pass out standing up hoping Prince Charming will come catch you. You're gonna crack your head on the floor and wake up naked in the ER. If you see someone faint, make sure they're breathing and that they're not injured. If possible, raise their legs up above their heart. We gotta get every last drop of blood in that body up to the brain. Once they start to wake, don't stand them up right away, motherfuckers. Just leave their bitch ass on the ground. If you sit them up too quickly, they're just gonna pass out again. If they don't wake up within the first minute or so, though, it's time to call an ambulance. Tips from the ER. Heat versus ice. If you have just suddenly sprained or fractured a part of your body, do not, do not, do not, do not put fucking heat on it. Heat will cause more blood to flow to the injured area, increasing swelling and increasing your fucking pain. For a sudden fracture or sprain, use ice. Ice will decrease the pain and swelling by forcing blood to flow away from the injured area. Repeat after me. Heat makes blood come to, ice makes blood go away. Ready? Heat makes blood come to, ice makes blood go away. There you go, motherfucker. Heat is typically saved for chronic or nagging pain that just won't go away like an ache. Use ice for sharp pains or whenever your muscles get put under a lot of stress like a physical activity. But never put ice directly on your skin, motherfuckers. Or you're gonna get frostbite trying to heal that broken ankle. Another good rule to remember, always wrap it up before you use it. Tips from the ER. Seven million followers. It's been five months, and here we are sitting pretty with seven million motherfuckers. Thanks to all of you, not one person on TikTok had to see my gorgeous face pop up on their For You page. We're out here aggressively giving unsolicited tips from the ER and unlocking people's sick fantasies of getting cursed out by a Vietnamese dude in a wrinkled shirt. They said it wouldn't last, but those are the same people who said COVID couldn't kill you, and now they're dead. Comment below and tell me which one of my videos first popped up on your For You page and why you followed. I'd love to know. Let's keep this party going, motherfuckers. Tips from the ER. Burn. First degree. If you just burned your hand, touching something hot like a baking sheet, curling the iron, or yourself, because you're my sizzling hot motherfucker, <laughs> you're not. The first thing you're gonna want to do with a burned hand is run it under cool water. Not ice cold water, cool water. We gotta slowly cool down your hand, which means you're gonna leave it under cool water for longer than five minutes, people. Also, stop putting unnecessary shit on your burns. Toothpaste, butter, soap, eggs, raw meat. Where'd you even learn this shit from? Are you trying to make things worse to come see us in the ER? Because you don't have to. First degree burns aren't typically life threatening. It just depends on where it is and how big. For example, if you burned your entire fucking face or a large portion of your body because you were laying out in the sun too long without sunscreen, then maybe go seek medical help. But definitely always put on sunscreen. Tips from the ER. Burns. Second degree. It's what happens when you won't take your hand off the stove fast enough to go run it under cool water. Not ice cold water, cool water. Leave it under cool water for as long as you can. And don't listen to your crazy family members trying to talk you into questionable home remedies like mayonnaise, mustard, and toothpaste. Just <laughs> cool water.